The siege of La Rochelle of 1572-1573 was a massive military assault on the Huguenot city of La Rochelle by Catholic troops during the fourth phase of the French Wars of Religion, following the August 1572 Street. Bartholomew's Day Massacre The conflict began in November 1572 when inhabitants of the city refused to receive Armand de Gontot, Baron de Baron, as royal governor. Beginning on February 11, 1573, the siege was led by the Duke of Anjou. Political considerations following the Duke's election to the throne of Poland in May 1573 resulted in negotiations, culminating on June 24, 1573, that lifted the siege on July 6, 1573. The Edict of Boulogne signed shortly thereafter brought an end to this phase of the Civil War. The Siege of La Rochelle was contemporaneous with Catholic assaults on the cities of Sumiers and Sancerre. La Rochelle at the time of the 1572-1573 siege since 1568, La Rochelle had been the main base of the Huguenots in France. A city of 20,000 inhabitants and a port of strategic importance with historic links to England, La Rochelle benefited from administrative autonomy and had become overwhelmingly Huguenot. After the street. Bartholomew's Day Massacre and other massacres across France in the fall of 1572, numerous Huguenots fled to the city of La Rochelle as a last refuge. The city was well fortified, with access to the sea. The conflict started in November 1572, when inhabitants of the city refused to receive Armand de Gontot, Baron de Baron, as royal governor. Charles IX ordered the city to be besieged. In the middle of November, François de La Noue, sent by Charles IX to negotiate with the city, was invited by the inhabitants to take up their defense. With the king's acceptance, La Noue joined the besieged city but was unable to effect a solution to the crisis, and on March 12, 1573, he left the city and watched the subsequent events from the royal camp. Western side of La Rochelle with remaining towers of Vauclair Castle and filled moats, by Antonius Lafrary, Rome, circa 1573 German print of the siege of La Rochelle, with a city in the background. And the fleet of Gabriel, Comte de Montgomery, in the upper left corner on February 11, 1573, the Duke of Anjou arrived to take command of the siege with 28,000 men. His massive resources were gathered from Paris, Picardy, Normandy, Poitou, Saint-Ange, and Angamois. The army included the Duke's brother François d'Alençon the two former leaders of the Huguenots, Henry of Navarre and Henri I de Bourbon, Prince de Condé, both had recently converted to Catholicism, members of the guy's family, Charles of Lorraine, Duke of Mayenne, Claude, Duke of Amal, Henry I, Duke of Guise, and other nobles including Louis IV de Nevers, Guillaume de Tora, Henri de la Tour de Verne, Filippo di Piero, Strozzi, Albert de Gondi, Blaise de Menluc, Artis de Cassé-Brissac, Pierre de Bourdet, Seigneur de Brantome and Armand de Gontot. Among those nobles were some who remained suspicious of royal intentions and deplored the violence of the street. Bartholomew's Day Massacre and some who were sympathetic to the Protestant cause. Political intrigues were in the royal camp. Henry, Duke of Anjou in 1570. Painting by Jean de Court eight assaults on the city were waged from February to June. The attacks, along with cold winter, resulted in large losses on the royal army's side. On March 26, 1573, 150 attackers were killed in an accidental explosion of a mine intended to destroy the ramparts. The Duke of Anjou was himself wounded several times during the siege. On May 23, 1573, 6,000 Swiss Guard mercenaries arrived as reinforcements for the Royal Army, but the attack three days later was a disaster for the Royal troops. Gabriel de Lorges Comte de Montgomery the inhabitants of the city sent an ambassador to Queen Elizabeth I of England to seek her assistance, but she was still bound by the 1572 treaty with France and so could send only a limited number of ships. Led by Gabriel, Comte de Montgomery. Seven ships arrived in February 1573, but a larger group of ships was forced to turn back by the French Navy in April 1573, it retreated to Belle Isle and then Jersey. Most of the city's dwindling resources were supplied through small naval raids on Catholic ships, which were also being attacked by the Dutch Gutemer Corsairs. To block La Rochelle's ships from accessing the sea, the Duke of Nevers sank a large barge but with no effect. Entrance of the Polish delegates in La Rochelle at the end of the siege in 1573 at the end of May 1573. Henry of Anjou learned that he had been elected King of Poland, a country with a Protestant minority, which prompted him to ensue an end of the assault on La Rochelle. 
an agreement was reached on June 24, 1573, and Catholic troops ended the siege on July 6, 1573. The fourth phase of the Wars of Religion was brought to a close by the Edict of Boulogne signed in July 1573. La Rochelle was designated as one of the three cities in France where the Protestant faith was permitted, but only under strict conditions. Thanks for watching.